Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we got some pretty great news as a story comes out that Bank of Brazil becomes the first state-backed bank to allow customers exposure to a crypto ETF. This is hot on the heels of the listing for Coinbase uh, for their IPO or direct listing. And the real question is, is the United States not far away from also issuing their first crypto ETF or Bitcoin Ethereum ETF? On top of that, we'll take a look at a nice little piece that talks about Binance destroys 595 million worth of BNB tokens in its quarterly burn, which is one of the biggest ones they've ever done. We'll take a look at Ethereum, the London hard fork that is coming up in July. On top of some great stories for Avalanche, the smart contracts platform. And we'll take a little bit deep into that and see what's going on. But first, let's take a look what's going on into the market. So today it is April 17th. It is uh, 10 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. Awful day here. Cold, disturbing, really gross. Not a big fan of uh, cold weather. Need to get to Puerto Rico as fast as I possibly can. But I will tell you this, uh, the market still is hot. We're at $2.2 trillion. So maintaining, I like to see that. Daily said it's still a little bit bearish because it's a little bit uh, uh, wonky in the markets. Uh, even Dogecoin took a hit today. But uh, just so you know, hottest on Twitter, uh, Ethereum Classic has been breaking out. Nano, Sia Coin, Doge, of course. Verge, VeChain, Neo, and Digibyte. Digi uh, Digibyte is up pretty great. If you watch uh, Digital Dave over there, Crazy of Cryptos, he's been preaching the word about Digibyte for as long as I've watched him. And uh, today, I think, is one of those great days uh, that uh, he gets to celebrate because I think uh, Digibyte's doing pretty good stuff. So real quick on the coins, Bitcoin's around 60,000. Ethereum's, you know, roughly, well, a little bit of a dip, 2364. And uh, let's see, anything up massively. VeChain up massively. Uh, VeChain doing great things. I own VeChain. I love it. Uh, and uh, just so you know, I'm super biased in this channel. <laughs> Everything that I own, I talk about. That's pretty much how it is. And I skip the rest, uh, except for Avalanche. I don't own that yet. Let's see, Tron's up. Eh, not, nothing too great. Let's take a look at, uh, as far as the projected range. That's what's great about Trade the Chain, sentiment analysis. We're going to click on this. And it's going to give us to see what our inner trader could actually make a profit. Very tight margins today. Uh, plus 0.65 for Pirate Chain, <laughs> which were, and the uh, the uh, ticker name is R, which is pretty funny. Uh, I like that one. Uh, it's, it's a good one. I exec RLC, Wacky Chain, Celsius, Numera, and Nem are something to look at if you're a trader. But again, the uh, margins are pretty tight. And this middle number here is 90% accuracy. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Anyhow, let's break into today's top story. That's what I really want to talk about. So Bank of Brazil, first state backed bank crypto ETF. What's going on here? Well, there was, it was initially set for around April 22nd. And uh, then they said, no, we're going to, you know, push it back. And then people were all worried about it because they said, oh, well, they're going to push it back. It's going to stop. But no, just four days later. That's amazing for Brazil. And I remember reading articles about how Brazil was being very heavy handed for as cryptocurrency goes and different problems with it, but it doesn't look like it's uh, affecting it too much. So according to a letter sent by Hashdex to its clients, the state backed banking institution will be able to offer its customers the possibility of buying the crypto ETF of Hashdex. Bank of Brazil's customers could have exposure by investing in the fund, which will replicate the NASDAQ crypto index, NCI. The new date of the ETF debut is said to take place on April 26, uh, pushed back from April 22nd. Bank institution becomes the first bank in the world to offer such kind of exposure. This is the things that I'm always talking about on this channel. It's not so much about like one big story. I mean, there's always like one big story sometimes, right? PayPal coming out and saying, hey, we're going to offer these for crypto assets. Uh, Elon Musk saying, hey, we're going to accept Bitcoin. We're going to put 1.5 billion of Bitcoin on our on our uh, sheets and right, our treasury. And, you know, like something like this, this is the first state uh, backed bank to actually do it. So I just see like all these things that are happening around us. It just kind of. Um, gets into the public consciousness and just they start to realize that, hey, cryptocurrencies and digital assets are here to stay. Because remember, not everybody's like you and me. Not everybody just gets it. I mean, talk to anybody. They're like, we don't understand it. So banks are going to change. The financial institutions are going to change. There are so many things. There is a, I hate to use the word revolution, but really it is. I mean, it's like there's a big uprooting and a revolution really happening. And uh, the people that don't understand about the upcoming technology, the ones that are going to get left behind. They're going to get blockbuster. So the Hashdeck Crypto Index, Hash11, is composed of crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Chainlink, 
Bitcoin Cash and Stellar. Interesting. So to me, like when I see something like this, and that's really, really the whole story. I always think to myself, I'm like, who cares? Who needs an ETF? Who needs these indexes? And again, it's just people who really are into the traditional finance sector, which is where all the money's at, traditional finance. I mean, you've got just in derivatives, you got uh, uh, 500 trillion sloshing around. And uh, so these people that like really want to get into it, but they really can't because of regulatory issues or safety issues. And who's going to put, you know, 20 million of their net worth onto a nano ledger. It just doesn't make any sense. So these types of things, they can get exposure to it and they can bring the money in. So I'm happy about this. And this is just one more step, I think, until uh, here in America, we get an ETF. Canada's already got it going on. Brazil's already got it going on. I'm sure there's other countries, and of course, we're being left behind. And I always talk about it. That's what I think is happening. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our next piece. So 